Dear Heavenly Father, As the dawn breaks and the world awakens, my heart brims with gratitude. With the psalmist's words in my heart, I joyfully declare, Psalm chapter 118, verse 24. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This beautiful morning I am deeply touched by your promise from Lamentations. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 to 23. Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I wholeheartedly commit this day into your nurturing hands, Father. I choose to rejoice and to find joy in every moment. For I am continually enveloped in your grace, peace, and the boundless, protective blessings you bestow upon me. Standing firm on your word, I believe that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. With unwavering faith, I invoke the protective blood of Jesus over every aspect of my life. With the day stretching before me, unknown and full of possibilities, I submit all my concerns, fears, and aspirations to you. Though the future remains a mystery, my heart is buoyed by unwavering confidence in your enduring faithfulness. I trust, O Lord, that you will guide my every step, leading me along peaceful paths and fortifying my heart to remain obedient to your divine commands. Jesus, my Redeemer, my anchor and my Good Shepherd, guide me through this day, just as a shepherd ensures the well-being of his flock, leading them to verdant pastures and beside calming waters, I place my trust in your divine provision and guidance. As the hours of this day unfold, may my faith remain unshakable, and may I walk every moment in harmony with you. Father, as I step forth into the heart of this day, embolden me with unwavering faith. Let clarity reign in my thoughts, for your word assures me in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. As challenges arise, guard my judgment from being clouded. Lord, equip me with the mind of Christ, driving away any spirit of fear or confusion. You reminded us in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This day I set my heart and mind on your promises, desiring to meditate on your words at every moment. Help me to release the burdens of yesterday, to embrace forgiveness, and to find the strength to start anew. Your plans, O Lord, are filled with hope and promise. Guide my steps, for as the psalmist sang in. Psalm chapter 118, verse 22. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Illuminate the path before me today. Each morning reminds me of your unwavering love and mercy as proclaimed in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 to 23. Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. With a heart full of gratitude, I thank you, Lord, for your victory over sin and death. 
I lean on you for strength, guidance, and wisdom. Father, as I take each step today, may the blood of Jesus be my shield and protection. In every challenge, my courage finds its root in knowing all is under your sovereign watch. With every stride, I beckon you to accompany me, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit be my compass, whispering guidance and echoing your truths in my ear. My gaze is fixed on the heavenly realms, looking to you, Lord, the initiator and perfecter of my faith journey, as promised in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. May my heart and mind find solace in that assurance. As I immerse myself in your word, renew the garden of my mind, uprooting any seed the enemy has sown. Establish walls of protection around me and my loved ones, for through the blood of Jesus we are shielded. No weapon, no scheme of the enemy shall find its mark. I cast away lingering shadows, old habits, impure thoughts, influences that stray me from your path. Covered in the redeeming blood of Jesus, I embrace the protection, provision, and direction it offers. I stand here, Lord, aware of the vast power in your hands, with full trust, I recognize your unwavering care for your people, and into your hands I place. Father, as today's first light breaks forth, I stand in your presence, enveloped in gratitude, echoing the words of David in Psalms chapter 86, verse 1 to 2. Listen to me, Lord, for I am helpless and weak. Save me from death, because I am loyal to you. There is no God like you, and not one has done what you have done. Into your hands I place every fragment of my heart, every ambition, every hope, every doubt, every joy, every aspiration. I lay them at your feet, as it is written in Psalm chapter 86, verse 9. All the nations you have created will bow down to you. They will praise your greatness. I too stand in reverence of your boundless love. Guide my steps today, O Lord. Shield me from my own fleeting thoughts and protect me from the snares that lie in wait. Fill me with the fruits of your spirit, letting your gifts of love, joy, peace, and understanding manifest in my actions. Today, I embark on this journey with a heart solely fixed on you. Your promises light my path, guiding me through every decision, every challenge. As I empty myself of worldly concerns, may your Holy Spirit fill every void, directing me closer to your embrace. You are God, and in you I find my strength and purpose. May my heart remain pure and my focus steadfast. In moments of doubt or distraction, I find solace in the bond we share, unbreakable and eternal. Today, I step forth with unwavering trust in your plans for me. With gratitude, I acknowledge your presence in every moment of this day. In the victorious name of Jesus Christ, I commence my day. Amen. Before we close, there's an invitation I'd like to extend to each one of you. Perhaps you've felt the weight of life's uncertainties, or maybe you're searching for hope and purpose. There is an answer. And that answer is Jesus Christ. Would you like to experience the life-changing power of Jesus in your life? 
would you like to find forgiveness, purpose, and eternal life? Today can be the day of your new beginning. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you into my heart and life. I accept, trust, and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Amen.